Allah, Barak Atah, Shalom Israel, Shalom Judah, Shalom, Shalom to the house of Israel, Yasharel, the house of King David, Yahudah, Judah, the whole four elect. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to the Most High, Yah, and the Son, Yahushua, Mashiach, Yasharel, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Um, back at another lesson, the title of this lesson is going to be The, the Day of the Lord is Darkness even very dark uh, when it all falls down. And this is about the fourth, fifth attempt. I did a lesson today earlier and I was told to leave and I couldn't finish the lesson, but I tried to redo it, but this is like the fourth, fifth attempt. So, you know, men and Lord is being attacked, spiritual attacks. But this word is going to get out through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So, this is another lesson. Hopefully, this one will be better. Lord willing. This is Amos chapter 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Should not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? The day of the Lord is dark, darkness. All right. Famine. The plague of darkness is coming, blackouts, and the Lord is stirring it up, man. Nations rising against nations, kingdom against kingdoms, wars and rumors of wars, plagues are sent, okay? The sword, pestilence, sicknesses, diseases, famine, food and water of hearing the words, and poverty, poverty. Yep. So this economy is collapsing. And I already went into New York City, that great city, Babylon. It's the portion. It's the uh, headquarters of the economics in America. And Esau Edom is the ruler of all these nations. Okay? He ruled all these Gentile nations. But the but the Lord is going to use these Gentiles to come against one another, to turn against one another, okay? And the mess is going to come from the east to empty out Babylon, all right? Out of Iran, the Meds, or the Middle East, the Middle, the Middle East, the Arabians, the United Arabs, all right? So... This place is going to be dark, man, gloomy because of the wars, the smoke, you know. And then you got the chariots. Christ in, with the Lord of hosts, the Son of Man, with his mighty angels, the chariots. And they can darken the sky. They can shut the powers off. They can shut the power, the, the, uh, the, uh. They can make it dark. They can shut down all the electricity, the power. Military, they can do it all. Man, the chariots and the angels operate these chariots. <laughs> Fly these chariots. Okay? So, the Lord is bringing wrath, anger, judgment. He's coming with cruel anger, wrath. Yep. So, these are the days of the Lord's vengeance, man. Jacob's trouble, great tribulation. All hell is about to break loose. And you women is going to catch the most hell. You prideful, evil, wicked women, man. You've been having it your way for so long. Everything been catered to you. Rise up, you women. You careless daughters, give ear to my speech. Many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless ones, for the vintage should fail. The gathering should not come. Strip you and make you bare. 
and gird sackcloth upon your loins. The Lord is going to strip you women, man, of your finances, your pride, your beauty, your money, your homes, your cars, your clothes. He's going to strip you. When Babylon falls, feminism falls. 99% of you women are going to catch hell, man. Yep. So the tables is going to turn. And I remember stopping. I read that scripture. Okay, Amos 5. I remember stopping at Isaiah chapter 13. I think it was verse 9. But I'm going to just go here real quick. Visit this scripture. Because it's about to go down. Her money ain't no more good. Thousands of banks closing, shutting down. The U.S. petrodollar ain't no good. It's on its last leg. You got BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, Saudi Arabia that dumped the U.S. petrodollar. They're not even trading with it no more. So America is bringing in the CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency Blockchain Tracking Device, and then the MOTB. Returning to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 down to 18, and he and he calls a fall, both small and great, rich and poor, free of bond, to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell. Say he that had the mark or the number of the name of Salakia, or the number of the beats. Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for as the number of a man, and his number is three score and six, 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 six. And I went into the number sixes. So that RFID microchip is coming. And the WEF, World Economic Forum, said if you want to participate in society and buy, buy food and water and keep your bank account, pay your bills, you're going to have to, ex you're going to have to, you're going to need a chip. You're going to have to have a chip in your skin. And roughly I'm paraphrasing. Washwa, WEF. Now, this place is falling. The day of the Lord is darkness, and it's going to be dark. Blackouts, no power. Everything going to be shut down. Business, thousands, hundreds of thousands of business closing already. All right? Gas, fuel is going to be cut off. Unless you're going to be paying high, high money. People ain't going to be able to, be, be able to afford to drive. You got to pay for... Uh, so many miles. The WEF is after the uh he's after the whole uh vehicle, however you pronounce it. I mean it's like it. He's after the these elites, these wicked ass people, man, with the agenda 2030, the NWO, the Great Reset. Population control to depopulate too. They want to kill off a mass of people. The Lord had made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the dead evil. So he's going to use the wicked for the dead evil to bring part of his judgment in on the left hand side. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 9. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate and he should destroy the sinners thereof out of it for the stars of heaven and the constellation thereof should not give her light the sun should be darkened and his going forth and the moon should not cause her light to shine because of the wars all right smoke thermonuclear fire and the stars will fall from heaven, Satan and his angels, and his devices, the satellites. It says, this is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. I would make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So the men of the Lord is going to be more precious than fine gold. That's the elect men. Lord willing, I pray I'm, I'm in that number. Lord willing, I pray I'm of the elect that's written in the book of life. He's going to make a man more precious than fine gold. So the tables is going to turn. Okay? Feminism is coming down, Lady Liberty. 
Isaiah chapter 13, verse 13. He's going to remove it out of her place. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 13. It says, Therefore will I shake the heavens and the earth. Then, therefore, therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts and in the day of his fierce anger. And it should be as a chase rope and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They should every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. They trying to flee right now. Yep, these Latinos, these illegal immigrants, they trying to go back to their home because there is no more resources. Shortages on food, the famine is here. They being plagued with the cold. They can't do it. They can't deal with the ice, the snow. They being plagued with the overflowing of flood with people. Overflowing the land. Babylon and the rest of these wicked nations going to be taken down. You got China, Moab, you got Ammon, you got Amalek, you got Tyre, Middle East, all these Arabs, the Ishmaelites. Then you got the Hagarians, Egypt and all the other places, Syria. Oh, they, I mean, they all going to get put down, man. It's going to be dark. The day of the Lord ain't going to be, hey. The day of the Lord is darkness, very dark. All right? No light in it. When it all falls down. All right? When it all falls down. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 15. Everyone that is found should be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto him should fall by the sword. So y'all that join in hand with him, you're going to be thrust through. And this is the time to be fleeing out of New York. All right, Babylon, New York City, and other major cities. L.A., Frisco, D.C., ATL. And these illegal immigrants overflowing it, overpopulate. It, it's a huge influx and more coming. And they running out of... And you got some trying to go back. Go back home because there's no more resources and it's too cold. And they ain't got enough housing. But the ones trying to come over here, they don't even know that. Great confusion, the Lord said he was sent. Going into second address, chapter 16. Great confusion. The sword and the famine he was sent. And roughly I'm paraphrasing. Dark. It's going to be dark to the wicked and to the two thirds, to these Gentile nations, the heathens, too. Yep. And the two thirds of our own people, man. It's going to be dark, very dark. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 13, verse 15 again, everyone that is found should be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them should fall by the sword. Those who are joined into this government, got these high paying jobs, these politicians, all the way down to those who work for the government, all right? Or love and believe this system. And especially you women, feminism, that's coming down, you're gonna be thrust through. Yep. Only a small percentage, only 1% of women, one third of women going to make it out. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 16. Their children also should be dashed into pieces before their eyes. Their houses should be spoiled and their wives ravaged. That's, that's happening right now. Men are breaking their women's houses. You know, they call 911. They so busy. And you got some places they defunded the police. Police is no more. They very they they, they short staff of police, and men just taking advantage of that. And it's going to get a whole lot worse. Okay, it's going to get a whole lot worse. These are the beginning of sorrows. The worst is yet to come. Women getting ravished. Women getting kidnapped left and right. 
over 400,000 black girls and black women come up missing every year. All right. Yep. Yeah. Drugging these women. Slaving them, sex slaving them. And when all hell, when it completely collapsed, women are really going to be getting ravished and raped. It's going to be the norm. Women and girls is going to be a commodity. Children. And some men too, some boys too, but mainly girls and women, girls and children is going to be the number one target. Men is going to be so desperate. Yep. And they can't wait. Men got vengeance on these women, man. For putting them, locking them up for child support, alimony, taking their money, ruining their life. You women going to catch hell. You got it. You got it coming, man. And some of you know you got it coming. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 17. Behold, I will stir up the meds against them, which should not regard silver, and as for gold, they should not delight in it. Okay? The Lord is stirring it up. He's stirring it up. For the wicked, it's very dark. He's stirring it up. You ain't going to see nothing was going. You're going to see it, but you're going to see it on the evil dark side. You ain't going to see it on the righteous good side. The Lord's stirring it up. And the mess is coming from out of the Middle East, Iran, over there in that area, Persia. You got the Arabs, the United Arabs, the Ephraims, all of that. Going into 2 Edges chapter 15, verse 27. Let me see if I can get that. Second Edges chapter 15, verse 27, and it reads, it says, For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. Okay, right here. Okay, right. Nope, that ain't that. Okay, right here. Let's start with uh 28. Now let's start with 27. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth and you should remain in them and you should remain in them. God should not deliver you because you have sinned against him. Behold, in horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east. From the east, see? From the east. Those are the meds it's coming from. From the east. This is 2 Edges chapter 15, verse 29. Where the nations of the dragons of the Arabia, these are the Arabs, the United Emperors, the Arabs, all the Arabs, Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, you name them. It says, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia should come out with many chariots, meaning they tanks, they ships, they jets, they planes, they ammunition. Well, the nations of the dragons of Arabia, Saudi Arabia, all of them, Iran, Iraq, should come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them should be carried as the wind upon earth, that all, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Yep. And it says also the, the Carmians raging and wrath should go forth as the wild boars of the wood and with great power should they come and join battle with them and should waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. The land of the Assyrians, the Roman Empire, part of that Roman Empire, Israel, Parts of Babylon, Babylon, I mean, I, I'm just going to say Babylon over there in Europe. That's all connected. Israel, that's all part of Babylon. Europe, yeah, man, it's about to go down. Let's go to, uh, let's see where I'm at. Let's go to uh, first, Second Peter. We're going to take it to Second Peter. Lord is bringing that judgment, man. It's going to be crazy out here. 
This is why a man should be as a hiding place from the wind. That's the elect man. Okay? The prudent man will forsake the evil and hide himself because of the evil time and keep quiet. Okay? It's going to be so evil out here, man. You can't even be seen. You ain't going to, man, look, man. It's about to look. Everything, it's going to be completely lawlessness, cannibalism. People getting kidnapped, killed. Everything you think of. Fights, 20 folks everywhere you look. People fighting for their life. This is Second Peter, chapter 3, verse. Let's start with A, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack. And the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. Some men count, count slackness, but is long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. This is the time to repent. So your sins can be blotted out. Going into Acts chapter three, verse 19. All right. This is second Peter chapter three, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heaven should pass away with a great noise. The heaven should pass away with a great noise. Bomb party is over with for all you warlocks, witches, sorcerers, soothsayers, warmongers. The wicked period. Lights go out. All hell and bombs. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens should pass away with a great noise and the elements should melt with fervent heat. ICM being incognito missiles. And the heat. The fires. Okay. The earth also of the, and the works that are therein should be burned up. The earth also and the works that are therein should be burned up. His satellites, his technology, it's going to be burned up. Okay? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heavens should pass away with a great noise, and the elements should melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein should be burned up, seeing then that all these things should be dissolved. What manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasting, see? Looking for and hasting, it's about to come. Unto the coming of the day of God our power, wherein the heavens being a on fire, wherein the heavens being on fire should be dissolved and the elements should melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Yup. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our beloved brother, Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him have written unto you. So yeah, man, it's about the year. Lord is coming, man. Like a thief in the night. Yup. It said, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Will come as a thief in the night. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians. 1 Thessalonians. So it's about to get, hey. Lights and blackouts are coming. 
And this place is falling. This place is falling. Let's get First Thessalonians. I'm trying to get it. Uh, let me get it right here. Bear with me, y'all. Here we go. First Thessalonians. Chapter 5. Let's start with 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. The righteous, the elect. He's saying. Okay? Those are being steadfast. Watch and praying. Being vigilant and vigilant. But at the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you for yourselves. Know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they should say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child, and they should not escape. The wicked would not escape, man. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, the elect, saints of the Most High, that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep and do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Okay? Yep. Let's go to, uh, back to Amos. I mean, Zephaniah. Yeah, let's get Zephaniah. Lord is about to come, man. Hey, and when he come, he gonna come when you least expect it. This is why we gotta watch and pray. And I'm gonna get that Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Watch and pray always that you will be counted worthy, that you be counted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. Roughly, I'm paraphrasing. Okay, let's go to uh, Zephaniah. And then we're going to hit Zephaniah chapter 1, verse, let's start with 14. All right, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near in haste of greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man should cry there bitterly. The mighty man is going to cry bitterly. You're rich. Your nobles, your kings, the elites, all the way down to your trillionaires, billionaires, and millionaires, and even the middle class, those who love this world. But now they're making it to where it ain't going to be no middle class. So the rich, the mighty, starting with the trillionaires down to the millionaires, trillion, billion, million. All right. It says, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near in haste of greatly. In this haste of greatly. This place is fallen. Babylon and other wicked nations got in bed with her. Okay? It says, even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man should cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day, a day of wasteness, a day of wasteness, salaki, and desolation, a day of darkness, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Thick darkness, the clouds. He's going to darken this place. We ain't seen no dark yet. You think it's dark? You go outside and... It's, it's, it's a little dark, but that ain't dark, dark. The Lord is going to make it dark, dark. Darkness. Okay? And he's going to plague this place with darkness. That's like during the time of Moses. And it's going to be a second exodus. And he's going to gather the elect, the remnant of Israel together. 
going to Micah chapter 2, I think it's verse 12, 13, and Isaiah chapter 11, and some other scriptures. That's just a couple of the names. All right? Zephaniah, like Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 15, that day is a day of wrath and a day of trouble and distress, and the chariot is going to be posted. Okay? And like I say, they can shut down the power. The angels. And them chariots are so powerful, the sound just verberating throughout the atmosphere crumbled down their skyscrapers, their buildings. Their idols, their architect, architectural buildings, skyscrapers, the walls, the towers. The stars is going to fall from heaven, Satan and his angels, demons, and his devices, his technology. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 16, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities, Babylon, New York, and against the high towers. Yep. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood should be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. The dung is doo-doo, poop, shit. All right? Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 18. Neither their silver nor their gold should be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land should be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he should make even a speedy rendience of all of them that dwell in the land. He's going to make a speedy rendience of all of them that dwell in the land. He's going to speed up the process. His judgment. Isaiah chapter 66. Let's go back to Isaiah chapter 66. Verse 15, it says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord should be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst eating swine flesh and the abomination and the mouth should be consumed together, saith the Lord. All praises and glory due to the Most High. All right. This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse uh, right here. Forty-five, forty-four, and I will punish Baal and Babylon, and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he hath swallowed up, all the riches they took from us, and the nations should not flow together any more unto him. Yea, the wall of Babylon shall fall. All his devices, his skyscrapers, his buildings, everything will fall in Babylon in New York City, and the rest of parts of Babylon. I mean, Babylon and the rest of the major cities that follow after her. But starting with New York. Okay? That great city, New York. And other wicked nations. You, that's part of Babylon. Alright? Throughout the world. Throughout the regional. Europe. Yeah. The European Union. The EU. United Nations. And then you got Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 45. My people go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. Come out of New York. Come out of these major cities. Flee out. We're going to have to flee into the wilderness. Going into Revelation. I think it's chapter 12. And also Ezekiel chapter 20. And Isaiah, I think it's chapter 43 or 45. 
but it's about to go down. So the Lord is bringing that wrath, man. And so you women better rise up. You women about to get, hey, look, you have no clue. And some of you women, and you, this is the time for you women to be humbling yourself, trembling. Okay? Coming back to the lost day. You better cleave and take it. You better. And what I'm seeing right now, you seeing a lot of women leaving their husbands. They leaving their men at the wrong time for just stupid stuff. You women are leaving you. You women wicked. The Lord is about to judge you women, man. You women going to catch so much hell. It's going to be, you women going to be through. He's going to uncover your secret parts. You, you ain't going to have nothing. Don't make up no money. None of that. He's taking all of that away. You're going to have to submit and bow down to the man. And a lot of you women going to want to return back to your man, your husband, your ex-husband, but you're going to be rejected. It's going to be too late. The Lord going to make it hard for you. Yup, yeah, it's coming. You women about to get it, man. I can't wait till it collapse. I can't wait till this wicked ass place fall. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Esau eat him. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He put his the, the, the landmarks, the saints, he put his face, the Caucasian so-called white face. The prophets, he put his face. The so-called white man, his face as being the saints, the prophets, the landmarks. Matter of fact, let me go here right quick. Job 9 and 24. This place is wicked. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Yep. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who? Esau, Edom. His land, the landmarks, the saints, the angels. He put his face as white, Caucasian. If not, where and who is he? Okay. Yep. Back to Amos. I don't want to get off of that. Chapter 5. Let's go here. Start with 1. Hear ye this word which I have taken up against you, even a lamentation. O house of Israel. Lamentation, man. That's dealing with grief, sorrow, pain, trouble, distress, calamities. Yeah. Anguish. Going all the way down. Amos chapter 5, verse 6. Seek the Lord and you shall live. Least he break out like fire in the house of Joseph and devour it, and there be none to quench it in Bethel. Ye who turn, ye who turn judgment to warm wood and leave off righteousness in the earth. Seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion, and turneth the shadow of death into the morning, and maketh the day dark with the night, that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Okay? Seek the Lord while you may while he may be found. Going into Isaiah chapter 55. All right? Seek to live. Don't wait and put it off. Say, I'm going to wait next week, next month. You might not live next week, next month. It's about to go down, man. And you women, seven women would take hold of one man, saying we would eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by that name to take away our reproach, your shame, your disgrace. And that day, seven women. What day? The day when all hell break loose. Jacob's trouble, great tribulation. When you strip from everything. Okay? And it's coming. It's hasty. It's coming. Yeah. The Lord is his name. That strengthened the spoil against the strong. Yeah. So that the spoil should come against the fortress. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. And they adore him that speaketh uprightly. They hate the righteous that rebuke evil. They hate the saints of the Most High, the servants of the Most High, and the Son, our Christ, Savior, and Redeemer. The wicked hate us when we rebuke evil, man, when we expose evil. Yep. Yep. 
It says, they hate him that rebuke in the gate, and they adore him that speak of uprightly. For as much, therefore, as your treading is upon the poor, treading is upon the poor, and ye take from his burdens of wheat. You have built houses of hewn stone, but you should not dwell in them. You have planted pleasant vineyards, but you should not drink wine of them. This is the wicked. All these nations that took us and stripped us, start, the Arabs, the Ishmaelites, they was one of the first ones. The Syrians, the Edomites. Okay. E e Esau, Edom, Amalek, Egypt, the Hagarians, Tyree, all of them. All of them. Ashura, Ashuri, Elam, all of them. They sucked the blood. They took everything from us, man. The Lord is about to bring judgment on them. They about to swallow it. I mean, they about to uh, 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 vomit it up. Back up. Spit it out. Yep. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins. They afflict the just, us, the children of Israel. They afflicted us. All these wicked nations, man. They all had their hand in slavery. Going into Psalms 83, and I talked about that in, in the lesson I did a couple of days ago, a few days ago. New York City, Babylon, that mighty great city. You get a chance, check that lesson out. Yeah. For I know your manifold transgressions and your mighty sins. They afflict the just. They take a bride and they turn aside the poor in the gate from their right. Therefore, the prudent should keep silence in that time. For it is an evil time. The prudent man is the wise man, the righteous man, the poor righteous man, the wise man, the meek. That's the prudent man. We're going to have to keep silence, be quiet. Because there's going to be so much hell in the street. And he's going to hide himself. Okay. Let's go to uh, Isaiah right quick. Let's get that. Bring that out. Isaiah 32. Verse 2. And it reads. It says, And a man should be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So the man is going to be in a hiding place from the wind. That wind represents destruction. He's going to be away from destruction. Okay, he's going, to have, he's going to have shelter, a place. Place of refuge. Food, water, raiment, clothing. He's going to be protected by the Lord of hosts, the angels, the chariots. You're going to have wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, guidance. And women is going to want to cleave on to that. Okay? Amos chapter 5, verse 13. Therefore the prudent should keep silence in that time. For it is an evil time. Because the famine of hearing the words of the Lord is approaching in the land. All right? It's going to be so much hell. The Lord is going to shut the mouths up of his servants, his prophets. All right? Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the day comes. Behold, the days come, say of the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, although the famine of food and water is coming too, but this is talking about the famine of the word. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Okay. The Lord sent the famine in the land of hearing the words of the Lord. Because you heard this word while you party and play, and you choose not to take heed, to repent, okay? So it's too late now. The men of the Lord is going to have it. The elect, saints of the Most High. Back to Amos chapter 5, verse uh, 14. Seek God and not evil. Seek God and not evil, that ye may live. And so the Lord, the God of hosts, should be with you, and you have spoken. See? The Lord, okay, right here. 
Hate the evil and love good. Okay, right here. Here I'm going to go. Yep. Amos 5 and 15. Hate the evil and love the good. And establish judgment in the gate. Establish judgment in the gate. Speak the truth out of this book, the Holy Bible. It may be that the Lord God of... It may be that the Lord of... The Lord God of hosts would be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Therefore, the Lord, the God of hosts, therefore, the Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord said thus, wailing should be in all the streets. Wailing should be in all the streets and they should say in all the highways. Alas, and wailing is in the streets now. Alas, and they should call the husband to the morning and such as are skillful of lamentation to wailing. And in all vineyards should be wailing. For I will pass through thee, saith the Lord. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from lion and bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So should not should not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark, even very dark, and no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your feast days, and I would not smell in your solemn assembly, assemblies, and I would not smell your solemn assemblies. A lot of the wicked two thirds of our people. That's in Israel. Israelites? Yeah. I hate. I despise your feast days. Wicked as hell. Lying, doing all kind of stuff, man. Hey, repent. And I'm not just saying this, the, the, the last shot here. I'm talking about me too, but hey. I'm trying to repent. I'm trying to do the right thing. Lord willing, I'm doing the best that I can. Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. And being steadfast. Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. The, 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 the holy days, the feast days. But we got Israelites. And the truth. Eating pork and lying to our people. Saying that these pale-faced people with straight hair are Israelites. Now, they can accept this truth, you know. That's good if they they, they, they they like this truth and accept it because there are going to be a remnant of the Gentiles, but that don't make them Israelites, these Latinos, Hispanics, these pale-faced people with straight hair. Now, we're going to have a remnant of the Gentiles be saved. They're going to cleave. Strangers is going to cleave on to Israel, all right? But Israel is black people that fit all the curses doing around me 28 of the promises the covenant with willie hair he only sent to the lost sheep the house of israel but anyway we got all kind of madness going on in israel okay in these camps but anyway let's get back to the lesson the lord a lot of these guys saying they 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 they, they, they think that they man look man they still lying to our people they doing all kind of stuff man Lord sees everything. He sees everything. I don't care how many lessons you put out. I don't care how many brothers you, you rebuke. That don't mean nothing, man. You still lying to our people. You still doing, you, you hypocritical. How you going to talk about me and other, look at you, man. I'm not lying to my people. I'm not being no hypocrite like you is. Man, you guys are certainly self-righteous, man. Right here. Let's go to, uh, yeah, 21. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your song and assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs for I will not hear the melody of thy vows 
but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. Have you offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness 40 years? O house of Israel. And it's going to be a sad, it's going to be a mass. This is going to be a second exodus. And our people was murmuring then. And the Lord killed some of our people. So many princes. Our people. You know. They was. Uh, they was complaining. Murmuring. You know. Caused the Lord. They, they, they provoked the Lord. The Lord took a lot of them out man. During that time. And it's going to happen again. Yep. But anyway. And roughly I'm paraphrasing. It says, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. And Lord willing, I pray, I hope the Lord have mercy on my soul. And I hope and pray that he guide me and put that spirit on me so I can be protected and be one of the ones that be saved be of that number that they elect. You know, because the Lord can take that spirit away and allow you to go astray and allow you to be put to death, man. Lord ain't nothing to play with. So, you know, oh, how severe. But you have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch, yep, Gentile God, and Cherim, your images, the star of your God, which you made to yourselves. And y'all still wearing that six pointed star. You guys in these camps, the IU, ISP, IUFP, I. ISPUK, however you pronounce it, Sakari, some other camps. Man, that's not the, it's no such thing, the Star of David. And you guys wearing this star. That's the Star of Molat going off. It says, But you have borne the tabernacle of your God, Molat, and Chiam, your images. The star of your God, which you made to yourselves. A lot of y'all still wearing these scars, wearing it on your, on your, uh, your head. You know. Wow. Which you made to yourselves. Therefore, will I cause you to go into captivity beyond the Mac, the Damascus, Damascus, Damascus said the Lord whose name is of the Lord of hosts. Okay, I got to get ready to stop because it ain't going to let me go further. In Revelation, I said I was going to read this. Revelation 17, 18 verse 7. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment, torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I said a queen and a no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning, and famine, and she should be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth, who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, should bewail her and lament for her, when they should see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for the fear of the torment, standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Okay, and this is Revelation 17, verse 18. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigned over the kings of the earth. Babylon, America, Esau, Edom reigned over the kings of the earth. Esau, Edom reigned over the kings of the earth. That woman, Babylon, New York City. Babylon is that great city, New York. And Babylon, okay, Esau, Edom reigns over the kings of the earth. Okay. Esau Edom, the U, the, the EU, European Union, Roman Empire, you know, all these nations is part of Babylon. Okay? But New York, right there, that great city, New York. And America, United States. That's the uh the capital, all right, of the economics. The leader of the United States of America. Undisputed, New York City. So I hope this was edifying. Hopefully, uh, like to give our I, I, I see you in another lesson, Lord willing. All praises and glory due to the Most High.
Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rakaka Shalom Israel, Shalom Judah, Shalom, Happy Shabbat, Happy Sabbath. See you in the next lesson, Lord Woman, Kwame Yashrella, and Abba Habal.